Uh, originally, I created Courageous Cat. <laughs> that was that animated show. Yeah, an animated did, right? cartoon. But I think when I was 18, I tripped across a character called Batman. Bat, how do you pronounce B -A it? Bat B -A -T Man? B-A-T-Man. It was called Batman by Robert Kane. Uh -huh. In I 1939, when I was three years old, Stan, that's when I created the Batman. I'm now 42 on my good days. Anyway, Batman is my claim to infamy. Yeah, I always thought it was the cat and Batman sort of circumstance. Uh, I was doing a stage show at Shea Stadium, New York, and I brought in a bunch of people. Frank Gorshin as Riddler and a, an orchestra and dancers. And uh, We were rehearsing before that night, and the stage was maybe 10 feet tall. And I noticed as I, as Batman was singing a song and goofing around and doing a little dance, whatever, there was a guy in front of me that kept staring. And I thought, who is this stalker? Who let this guy in? And he kept staring at me. And, and I said, well, let's take five guys. And we took five. And I went backstage, which was kind of a huge tent affair behind the stage. And I looked in a big mirror uh, to take off the cowl, which was pretty tight and hot. And as I pulled off the cowl, hands reach out of the darkness and grab the cowl, the mask, and said, I created you. I created this. And it was Bob Kane. I, w I would really lay that on, on one particular guy, Bill Finger. Bill Finger created Batman. That guy, Bob, uh, Bob... Forget it, forget Robert. it, forget it, forget it. It's a four-letter word. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I could put up with him anymore, but but Bill Finger's really the guy who developed that man. He was the brains, the writer behind it. We know that. Bill never got the credit. The character was created by Bill Fanker and cover artist Bob Kane. Debuted in Detective Comics issue 27 May 1939. Being one of the smartest characters in the DC landscape, Bruce Wayne, co-named the Batman, is a master detective, a masker escapist, is in peak human physical condition, and has access to some of the most advanced tech equipment. Being one of the most effective leaders of the Justice League, a human among gods and alien power heroes, Bruce realized he would need something a bit more than his standard batteries or smoke pallet this time. So the Justice League helped Bruce forge a piece of armor to help him fight in battles beyond his strength level. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the hell back. It was created with the help of Arthur Curry, the Sovereign of Water, codename Aquaman, Barry Allen, the Crimson Comet, the Flash, Clark Kent, the last son of Krypton, Superman, Diana Prince, the Harbinger of Submission and Dominant, Wonder Woman, Hal Jordan, the Emerald Knight, Green Lantern, Victor Stone, the Human iPhone, Cyborg. The suit was created by writer Peter Thomasley and cover artist Patrick Gleason and debuted in Batman and Robin Volume 2, Issue 33, September 2014. The Hellbat allows Batman to have increased physical abilities, but during his metabolism, the downside of the suit is that it can kill him if he uses it too often. The armor itself is composed of a shifting nanokinetic metallic composition in which it could be shed and re-adorned to his person on command. It's voice at the computer AI with a built-in cloaking feature, giving him total invisibility. The suit comes with a few more upgrades, such as allows the cape to transform into a pair of wings for flight. The substance of which comprise of the same supposed nanoparticles mash of the suit, enabling the Hellbat mantle to change shape and symbol it, dividing into living bodies and putting off the inner ear. Liquefy and reinform around the enemies to fail, bash them around, use them as shields for defense or stone cutting arguments for offense, as well as the ability to transfer all power to the chest symbol part, the latter of which can be used to send out a powerful blast of energy. The wings of the suit, if it were to ever to get destroyed, can quickly reform when dispersed into swarms of bat, then quickly reintegrate into the suit. Bruce can eject select elements of the armor in order to prolong his life inside of it, with voice commands such as the helmet and the glass.
glove. Unfortunately, the suit doesn't have that many appearance, but there are some comments you can check out if you want to know more about the suit itself. Detective Comments Volume 1 Issue 1027, Dark Days, The Casting Volume 11, The Joker 80th Anniversary, 100 Page Super Spectacular Volume 11, Batman and Robin Volume 2 Issue 33, Batman and Robin Volume 2 Issue 35, Batman and Robin Volume 2 Issue 37, Batman and Robin Volume 2 Issue 34, and last but not least, Superman and Robin Special Volume 11.